During the Battle of Edessa in 260 CE, near the Roman-Persian frontier, a significant event would occur that had far-reaching implications for two major empires. On a campaign to secure the Roman Empire's eastern frontier, Roman Emperor Valerian led his troops against the Sasanian Persian Empire. At the time, the Sasanian Empire, under the leadership of the ambitious Shapur I, posed a significant threat to Rome's interests in the east. Shapur's expansionist policies and military prowess had led to the capture of key Roman territories, including the strategic city of Antioch. The Roman campaign against the Sasanians unfolded in a series of phases, characterized by shifting fortunes and tactical maneuvering. Valerian, drawing upon his extensive military experience, devised a multi-pronged strategy to counter Shapur's advances. The campaign's early stages saw Roman forces engaging the Persians along the eastern frontiers of the empire, aiming to reclaim lost territories and re-establish Roman dominance in the region. Valerian's campaigns exhibited a blend of traditional Roman military methods, such as fortified encampments and well-coordinated infantry formations, with adaptations to counter the unique challenges posed by the Sasanian forces. Notably, the Persians' use of heavily armoured cavalry and their mastery of siege warfare demanded innovative responses from the Roman commanders. Despite achieving notable successes in repelling Persian incursions and regaining some lost territories, the Roman campaign encountered unforeseen difficulties. Valerian's ambitions to decisively defeat Shapur and reclaim lost territories were hampered by the complex geography of the region, logistical challenges and the Persians' strategic flexibility. The climax of the campaign, and a pivotal moment in Roman history, was Valerian's capture by Shapur in 260 CE. This event, an unprecedented one in the annals of Roman emperors, showcased the extent of the challenges posed by the Sasanian adversary. Valerian's capture not only had profound implications for Roman prestige and leadership, but also influenced the subsequent trajectory of Roman-Persian relations. Valerian's military defeat was a mere prelude to a miserable and embarrassing captivity. He was reportedly kept in a cage and routinely humiliated for the Persian king's amusement. One early source maintained that Valerian was used as a literal footstool by Shapur when mounting his horse, an indignity ill-fitting an emperor of Rome and a powerful symbol of Persia's triumph. Sources diverge on the treatment he received, some alleging reasonable treatment and accommodations, others embarrassment and suffering. One of the more extreme accounts tells of Valerian's death in truly horrific fashion. Attempting to salvage his future and remaining dignity, Valerian supposedly offered the Persian king a tremendous bounty for his release. In response, Shapur forced the Roman ruler to swallow molten gold, a scene perhaps loosely echoed nearly 2,000 years later in Game of Thrones. Other historians at the time recounted flaying as the cause of Valerian's death an arguably equally unpleasant demise, a possible explanation for the dreadful suffering Valerian supposedly endured could be due to his treatment of the growing Christian community during the 3rd century. It was a common practice for early Christian writers, when recounting events, to provide coloured versions of the facts, to ensure that their adversaries and persecutors were portrayed as receiving divine justice for their crimes. Valerian was notorious for his harsh persecution of Christians. During his rule, Christianity was rapidly growing in the Roman Empire, which raised concerns among some Roman officials who saw it as a threat to the traditional Roman religious practices and social order. Valerian's persecution of Christians intensified around 257 CE. He issued edicts that targeted Christian clergy, ordering them to worship the Roman gods and perform sacrifices to the state. Refusal to comply often resulted in imprisonment, torture and even death. These measures aimed to suppress the Christian community and force them to renounce their faith. Many Christian leaders, including bishops and priests, were arrested, imprisoned and executed. Christian property was confiscated and congregations faced intense pressure to conform to the official state religion. This period of persecution was marked by widespread suffering and loss within the Christian community. Perhaps because of this, when retelling the events of his death, Extra care was given to ensure his fate was an unpleasant one. Regardless of the cause, Emperor Valerian's death in 260 CE had far-reaching consequences that reverberated throughout the Roman Empire and the broader geopolitical landscape of the time. 
Valerian's reign unfolded amid the tumultuous backdrop of the crisis of the third century, a period characterized by internal strife, external threats, and a series of short-lived and often ill-fated emperors. His military campaign against Persia had both immediate and enduring effects. The defeat and capture of an emperor by a foreign power was a profound blow to Roman prestige and morale. His captivity at the hands of Shapur I sent shockwaves through the empire, highlighting the vulnerability of even the highest-ranking Roman officials. The psychological impact of this event was significant, leading to a crisis of leadership and legitimacy that further exacerbated the instability of the era. Looking ahead, Valerian's capture set a precedent that shaped future Roman-Persian interactions. The eastern provinces, already prone to separatist tendencies, saw increased Persian influence due to their weakened connection with the central Roman government. This sowed the seeds for long-term disruptions in the region's stability and authority. Valerian's reign as a whole, against the backdrop of the crisis of the third century, reflects the complexities of leadership during a period of profound instability. His military campaigns, though marked by both successes and setbacks, underlined the challenges of managing an empire besieged by external foes and internal turmoil. His emphasis on restoring the Senate's influence and traditional Roman values was an attempt to stabilize the Roman state, but his reign was ultimately characterized by the struggle to maintain control amidst overwhelming challenges. Valerian's reign serves as a poignant case study for understanding the intricate interplay between leadership, foreign policy and internal instability in times of crisis. I do hope you have enjoyed this video from the desk of the historian and will stop by again soon. Until next time, take care and be kind.